Hey, welcome back. Let's continue our journey as we terraform this new planet. So it just it happens I had a, a very unpleasant thing going on. Mm, I videoed about an hour of content and then my PC restarted for some reason and I and the video got corrupted so uh, it got lost but there's not much I mean I haven't done any exploration during that time so nothing vital has been lost in that aspect I'm back to this wreckage here uh, because I gathered enough pulsar quartz so that uh, we can create an energy fusion cell so that we can get inside the wreckage and unlock this reactor once you use the fusion energy cell uh, it gets permanently lost but some new blueprints start uh, some new doors get opened like these three up here for example and, and i'm not sure if those are all of them so i started emptying these lockers and among other things there was lots of terror tokens available inside so we have now nithon uh, 9400 which is enough to um, order something from the trade rocket not something a lot of th things which we're gonna be using and my inventory got also crowded so we're gonna leave everything out here in this outpost and we're gonna empty the remainder of the ship we're gonna see what sells in store for us. So we've emptied this locker, this locker. And inside this corridor there were some more spacesuits. Also are these rocket engines? Yeah, sometimes you can find even uh, completed products available. There are some more of these computers to deconstruct we can now empty these lockers and check around if there's anything else here no there was one locker here which we haven't deconstructed yet and there is one more room up here, but we do not have enough space to bring everything. So we're gonna do another pass. Let's empty this here. And let's get back for one final grab. There's some rain going on outside. More microchips. I mean integrated circuit or circuit boards, yeah. All right, there's nothing more here, nothing more there. These um, predetermined wreckages are not too complicated to navigate, but there are some random ones that can be generated as an perpetual endgame content in which you can easily get lost without some torches or flares to navigate them and even then it's troublesome but those bring some high tier loot there are more of these we've been here already i'm i guess asking too much from this wreckage There's nothing more that the poor thing can offer us. So.
so long. It's been a pleasure working with you. So, we're kind of rich now. And I'm hoping that we have everything that we need. And we do to create another teleporter here. So that we can easily transport everything here back to the base. We only need one zeolite and we have that. So we're gonna call this one the red wreckage. And we now do not need to make any kind of particular selection what to bring. We're gonna bring everything. Um, we also in the meantime got the um, silk generator and we got the recipe for the fabric so that now we'll be able to create some uh, fabric without us having to find it somewhere on the planet. All right. Also, I emptied some of these lockers and placed the um, uh, contents at their respectable uh, containers around the um, um, the base. I also created a few more incubators and I also created some butterfly larvae. Let me introduce you to our golden butterflies and those lorpen that we found in our last exploration. Those are the best that we got. The golden 1500% uh, and 600%. And these two purple butterflies I produced at our lab with 300% each because we're missing tier 2 mutagen and we still don't have it I think. Now I'm gonna show you how do these incubators work. We're gonna take one. Mm, you can use common or rare larvae for the butterflies. With the common ones you get lower tier butterflies. With the rare ones you get higher tier. And with the tier 1 mutagen you will get lower butterfly, uh, lower tier butterflies. With the tier 2 mutagen you can get even golden butterflies. So the best thing... I'm not sure here. We brought some tier 2 mutagen from this wreckage. I mean we haven't, but not sure if there is enough mutagen. Uh, there's some mutagen there. Let's see. I'm not gonna take any guess guesses so not here not here not here and not here so at the moment we can't produce any more golden butterflies but nonetheless I'm gonna demonstrate how it's done so all of them require tier 1 fertilizer you need to place one mutagen one larvae and one one tier one fertilizer inside the incubator click research and make sure it starts spinning once it reaches 100 percent we'll have some kind of butterfly created by random chance out of those with also the restrictions um, having in mind those uh, components that we used so with these components there is no chance that we're gonna get golden butterflies but uh, if we would have placed um, the tier 2 mutagen instead of this basic one there could be a chance to get the best butterfly out there which is the golden one also you can use butterflies as a decoration and you can use them inside these butterfly domes for now and you can use them in the outside uh, um, outside base piece, which is called, I think, the something akin to the fountain, in which you can um, use <clears throat> place any kind of insect. So 
you can demolish the uh, butterfly domes once that is available because it simply produces more th um, insects and it also um, uh, it also takes much less space so now we have we've got the uh, purple butterfly again we could place it here for now you can also let's demonstrate that too we can reverse the process how, no matter how ridiculous it sounds you can simply destroy and recycle without any losses anything that you have created even the living thing inside this recycling machine which i also conveniently create conveniently sorry created here now we can also there was one interesting tree seed that we gathered and it is the Malicia tree seed. We also got one from the Ice Valley earlier. That's that one. And another one that we got, I placed inside um, this tree spreader. So now we, we've optimized um, the tree, I mean the plant production, oxygen production with respect to uh the seeds that are av available also we got two new seeds of these bioluminescent top tier flowers let's learn their name humblia seeds uh so we're slowly replacing the white ones as we got better ones at our disposal week and that's about it with respect to um what was lost in that footage so we can now um resume uh, the salvaging of that wreckage right um let's empty everything here and let's get back to the wreckage Let's see what's else in store for us. Uh, we can leave this iridium here for now. We won't be needing any of these expl I mean, we'll get back here, why not? We might as well demolish this outpost because it has lost its use by now. Its purpose, sorry. There's also lots of iron. We're slowly running out of space even here. We created a room just for such occasion and it's not enough. It's never enough until you can create the um, tier 2 storage container. even more of these why not there is no harm in that we can also compress this this uranium and iridium and we're overstocked there is even more uranium here and let's now take one final trip to this base oh the tier 4 exoskeleton nice this is now completely empty i'm gonna leave this outpost here and I'm not sure if there was anything. We might as well check that. 
I mean, there was anything inside this outpost worth bringing back. Nothing too important. These are all basic stuff. Maybe this iridium, maybe this siren, but we already said we have too much of that. We were short on sulfur for a time, so I'll bring that. And let's see these advanced seeds, perhaps. Now I'm gonna leave the iron here. Absolutely, and perhaps bring seeds instead. Not the white ones, just these advanced. So, how do we get out of this place? I mean... What do we have here? I might as well, at least, bring this teleporter down here, but I even have a better idea. I wanted to create one of those uh, tier, tier 2 drills uh, somewhere in the zeolite and osmium cave. I'll leave these explosives here. I'm not sure if I can deconstruct this and carry everything. We'll also take these and these things. And we can now go back to the base. Right, now that we're here, let's drop this off. Let's see if, if there is... Hmm, I need to drop these two. What do we need for the teleporter? Yeah. We need this, and let's see if there is any more. Iridium, or perhaps uranium around. Not that I'm aware of. Place this here for now. Right now, we have one teleporter, which we placed, if you remember, near this crater. And there was a cave here. I also explored this cave, found some osmium, found some pulsar quartz. And there was one crate here, so nothing too special. Not even inside a crate. So this teleporter has now lost its purpose. However, we can build one inside the... inside this golden tree cave let's start here there was zeolite and there was osmium here my guess is there are some geodes that we can destroy too my guess is if we place tier 2 drill here we'll be able to farm some advanced stuff And we're just gonna do that. Now I wanna create... Mm, 
a locker exclusively to hold the resources that are needed to create the teleporter so that we do not have to worry about him and remind ourselves uh, what are they before we try to explore something or go to create a teleporter anywhere so at this point uh, I wanna create the drilling machine I think two of them right there so that's six osmium that's 40 iridium rods and two super alloy rods There's one. Um, we have so much iridium. That's not going to be a problem. One, two, three, four. And there's one more super alloy rod. Now, I'm expecting a lot of from this mission. If we place the drill here it gathers zeolite let's see if we place one somewhere here we do not know what it does but i don't think we'll be having any problem now we have gathered, I think, enough pulsar quartz, or maybe not. There is the outdoor farm. Starting now, we won't be needing that uh, farming dome that we have used. Oh, we actually do not have lots of pulsar quartz. We have enough to create one nuclear fusion reactor but we do not need to do that there is one more thing that we can do without creating any more reactors that's using these energy multiplier fuses which we're gonna do which is gonna skyrocket all that power production that we have had by uh 300% total. No, I'm not sure if there was any one more fuse. No, but the two are quite enough. So we're going to create... Oh, no. We need obsidian for tier 2 machine optimizer. Hmm. Going to fix this soon. Let's see, here we have two heat fuses. Here, though, we have only one pressure fuse. But then again, we only have one of these optimizer machines. So, this one uses about everything. What about this optimizer machine? Does it use more than one slot? If I could find it. Hello. This is the tree spreader. This is the tree spreader. For heaven's sakes, there was one optimizer machine. There it is. So it uses only one. We can deconstruct this. And we construct one basic one there until we get more obsidian but for now we have a priority let's place the tier 2 optimizer here and we now boosted our production by a lot so let's now 
let's think about it here. Our total planted oxygen. Let's count these. Our total planted oxygen production is 270 grams of plants per second and oxygen uh, 5 points. So um, we have one, two, three, four, but we are counting this to Yeah. Let's So one of these flower sometimes it's hard to read. It's one. It's nearly two oxygen points and 43 plant points. Now we'll see. Oops. Now we're gonna see if the tree spreaders are the better investment. One of these produces much more oxygen and much more plants. So we're gonna boost this with the advanced optimizer and we're gonna create the basic one for the flowers the tree spreaders are always better you can now see the butterflies that we are uh, creating are slowly and steadily appearing at random all over the planet which is a nice catch we will now place one plant into oxygen fuses here and we'll create one basic one because we do not have enough obsidian over there so that's that's Uranium, explosive, cobalt, iron, all right. Cobalt, iron, explosive, and some uranium. So we can now optimize this too it reaches everything this here is using up power and is virtually doing and i mean nothing well it still does produce some oxygen but the thing is outdated. We really do not need that. And we're also crowded on these seeds. Alright, we can, since we now have everything in our inventory, we can at least compress this into super alloy. For that we need some more cobalt and I think we're good to go. Oh, and there requires titanium too. Well, all right, that was convenient. Mm. 
All right, we're gonna take a break here. If you like this episode, hit that like button down below, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.